We haven't made any changes. We would still be looking for an increase in the rate on the last 200 billion that was announced uh, originally at 10 percent. Uh, it's scheduled to go, to go to 25. And then we still think there is a, uh, a probability that you get tariffs beyond that on China. We're not, as, we're not assuming tariffs on autos in our baseline, but there's a risk of that as well. So to us, it looks like there's still a, a pretty high probability that we'll see some, some further steps, so, but obviously a lot of uncertainty around So then that. what have you made of the recent tone that there is some kind of thaw, if you believe uh, the rhetoric from the likes of Kudlow at least? Well, I think it's been going back and forth, as you have re reported. So clearly there are some, some mixed signals and, uh, you know, we're, we're, go we're going to have to see. We haven't changed our baseline case, but of course that baseline case could be wrong and we could be seeing uh, a, a deal at an, at an earlier stage. We will have to wait. So we saw the jobs market numbers this, this morning. I mean, that wage number above 3 percent, first time we've seen that in about a decade. Does that totally vindicate Chair Powell in, in this feud, public feud that, that President Trump has called between the two? Well, I think it's, it's, it's more about uh, what it tells us about the labor market healing. And the labor market healing has continued. We've been seeing it in the employment numbers. We've been seeing it in the unemployment numbers. We've been seeing it in various surveys. And I think the wage numbers was probably the biggest laggard in, in all of that. And that's much less true now. It's also not just the average hourly earnings numbers, uh, but also the employment cost index, which came out a couple days ago which also showed an acceleration to the fastest pace. So right now, I think we are at about 3% uh, year on year. I guess what I'm saying is, doesn't it justify the, the pace of interest rate increases we've seen from this Fed and continue to and will continue to do? Yeah, I think, I think so. I think it makes, uh, it makes sense to be normalizing monetary policy when the economy is at or probably actually a little bit beyond full employment. Inflation's at the target. And now wages are also probably roughly in line with what you'd expect over the longer term. In that environment, I think it makes sense to take out some insurance against a much bigger, bigger overheating of the labor market, which would then uh, increase the risk of recession. I think that's what the Fed is trying to do. They're trying to stabilize the unemployment rate at very low levels in order to reduce the, chis uh, the, the uh, risk of a subsequent recession.